Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here, and I want to provide an honest review of the Herman Miller Caper Chair after owning it for over a year or so, and I want to tell you about the good, the good, and the good. And is there anything negative I can say? If there is, you know, I'm this is an unfiltered review. I'm not, I'm not here to say anything that I don't feel. So I'm just telling you how it is. So for starters, what steered me towards the Caper. I can order it without arms. And I opted to order it without arms so that while it's not in use, it fits underneath my very uh, small and affordable desk. So that's, that's nice. Now the other thing is there were a lot of color options available for the Herman Miller Caper. Now I forget the exact color, this is kind of a, was it kind of like a light bluish color? Um, you know, you can, we expand this video's description and click the link there to find all the other color options, but I thought this looked cool with my Mac computer and my monitor and all that, but you know, you choose whatever color you want to choose if you decide to order one. Now this back, this is going to be this material. I don't want to misquote, but it's kind of a hard plastic type material that's vented, so if you're hot and sweaty, or you know you get on a conference call and it gets really heated and you start to heat up then you know you've got vents so it makes everything cooler so that's nice there is an option for the butt part where you sit your butt that is well i think they call it flex net which is kind of that meshy material that herman miller's probably famous for you'll find it on chairs like the Aeron and that sort of stuff but i opted for the hard seat the molded seat and the reason I did two things if I spill a drink this is hard this is easy to clean up you know anytime you spill something on a on a mesh type material it can be cleaned but it's more difficult so for this I can spill drinks food whatever and then I just bring a wet washcloth and wipe it off so that was my thought process behind choosing the uh, the what's called the molded seat over the flexible, I think it's called FlexNet seat. You know, I wanted the ease, ease of cleaning and ultimately longevity of the investment. This is a chair that I bought with the expectation that hopefully it'll last a very long time. Now also I went with the molded seat instead of the flexible seat because it's just a more, if you've ever sat down, say in a fast food restaurant or something, and uh, the seats are hard, well, they're hard for a reason because they want people to sit, eat, and get the heck out of there. And the same thing is with an office chair, a lot of people, they get these, you know, especially if they're an executive. I'm like, man, I'm an executive. You know, I gotta have a fancy chair that's comfortable and massage my back and all that. I don't want that. I want a chair that's, that's ergonomically correct, like this caper is, it's, you know, it's very comfortable to sit in, but I don't want something that's going to make me feel relaxed. Because when I'm doing business, when I'm sitting in this Herman Miller chair, I want to be alert and I want to be as productive as possible. So for that reason, I need a chair that's ergonomically correct, but something that's going to keep me alert. I don't want to fall asleep in my chair. I don't sleep on the job, I'm not lazy. So I want something that ergonomically correct, you know, it may, I mean, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a politician but something that may better control the blood flow in your legs or whatever. I mean, I don't know if it does that or not, but I mean, it's a very nice looking chair. The ability to get the various color options is great because you can choose what fits your office's decor or fits your personality. I just want something that's crazy, man. I don't want a, I don't want a black office chair. It's just too plain. So I went with this color. I think it looks nice. Now, I eat a lot of chicken wings and barbecued ribs and uh, burgers and fries and greasy foods, but you know, I'm not, I'm not your fitness model. You know, I'm not trying to say that I'm, that I'm in great shape because I'm not. Now I do exercise every day, but I'm still kind of fat and I acknowledge that. But even being a little bit fat, notice as I rotate here, how, uh, you know, this chair, I mean, it, it fits my butt. My butt's not hanging off the sides of the chair. You go with some of the other Herman Miller chairs, you can get different sizes. You know, you got a bigger butt, you got a smaller butt, whatever. You can go with different sizes with the other chairs, especially like the Aeron. If you've heard of Herman Miller Aeron, 
Herman Miller Air Run is arguably one of the chairs that has made Herman Miller famous, one of the office chairs that made Herman Miller famous. But a lot of people don't know about the Herman Miller caper, and there were two reasons I wanted to post this video. Number one, to acknowledge that the Herman Miller caper exists. A lot of people, when they think of Herman Miller, they're thinking of Aaron, they're thinking of Mira, they're thinking of, you know, those chairs. And the reality is, is that depending upon your preferences, depending upon your use case, if you just want a rock solid and ergonomically correct office chair that'll hopefully last a long time, this Herman Miller caper, I will keep wanting to call it Casper, but this Herman Miller caper is phenomenal. And it's held up well, and like I said, I spill drinks in this, I spill food in this, I just get a wet washcloth and wipe it off. And that's all I have to do. But I haven't had any issues. You know, you can get you can get the more fancy, the fancier Herman Millers, and you can get all these adjustments and this, that, and the other, and lumbar support. In all sincerity, all that I need, this height adjustment. You know, I can adjust the height like I want it to be, and I'm good to go. It rolls very well. I did get for the wheels, or I guess you should say the casters. I don't know what the correct terminology is. Maybe it's caster instead of wheel. But I did get the ones that are good for carpet or hardwood floors. Now, traditionally I used hardwood in here, but then now there's a rug and I put a uh, one of those clear mats on top of the rug and this rolls, these, these uh, wheels or casters, whatever you want to call them, they roll as well on my, on my carpeted uh, area with mat on top as they did is on the uh, on the original hardwood that's underneath this rug so definitely depending upon your office environment you may want to consider the the uh, you know the correct type of casters and if you're unsure you know get one that can probably do both one of the things that was really nice about this Herman Miller caper and it was unexpected when it arrived all I had to do is open the box and it was good to go I didn't have to assemble it, which I don't mind assembling something, but it was a nice touch that it was pre-assembled and I didn't notice any nuts or bolts being loose. It just works and I haven't had to adjust anything as far as nuts, bolts, or anything on this chair is concerned. You know, like I said, I've owned it for well over a year now and use it, you know, at least once a day. I mean, it's, it's a very, very comfortable chair. It does what I need it to do. It looks unique. It's, uh, you know, it's not something you walk in and it's like, oh, well, you got the whatever office chair. You know, this is one of those, it's like, well, what kind of chair is that? They've never seen it. Like, oh, it's a Herman Miller? I didn't know Herman Miller made a chair that looked like that. Because a lot of people haven't seen the caper. Again, they've seen the Herman Miller Aeron. They've seen the Herman Miller Embody. They've seen the Herman Miller Mira. They've seen all of those higher end from a price point perspective. And again, price doesn't necessarily dictate that something's better. But they've often seen those chairs and they think, well, that's, you know, that's what I need, man. And they don't realize that Herman Miller Caper exists. So for me, I love this chair. Um, I first discovered Herman Miller. I was doing some, some training, some sort of uh, technical training at this place. And, and they locked me in this room. And all that was in that room was a table and multiple chairs, and all the chairs were the same. And that was the first time I'd ever seen or put my butt in a Herman Miller chair. And it was a Herman Miller air run. And I remember that because I took a photo of the back because the place I was, which I can't mention where I was, but that place where I was locked in that room with those Herman Miller chairs and the conference table. It was, uh, it was interesting. And I, I, I'm like, may I take a photo? And you know, they didn't really like that, but I kind of found a way to get a photo out of that room. And the reason I did is because I wanted to remember what was I sitting in that was so comfortable. And that's when I discovered Herman Miller. It was a Herman Miller Aeron. But having discovered the Herman Miller Aeron a long time ago, now that I've got the caper, I'm perfectly at home. Now, you know, if you have a bigger butt, the caper may not be the chair for you. I mean, my butt fits comfortably in this chair, but you know, if you're doing, if, if you got a bigger butt, then probably looking at, uh, you know, some of those other Herman Miller offerings that, that are available in different sizes. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, 
I think this may only be available in one size. I'm not sure if it's available in multiple sizes like the uh, Herman Miller Aeron is, for example. But just a stupendous chair. I wish that there were more companies like Herman Miller today that designed a quality product that not only feels great, not only looks great, but seems to be built to last. I mean, provided you don't abuse it. I mean, how many dishwashers and washing machines and all of that have you gone through in a lifetime? Refrigerators, microwaves, things are built to fail. But this feels very well made and factoring in the price. Now, Herman Miller chairs aren't cheap, but if one thinks about, okay, well, if I buy, you know, whatever inferior chair brand, office chair brand, and then it fails in a year or so, and then I have to buy another one, how many of those inferior office chair brands might one buy before they would hit the price point of a really good office chair like this Herman Miller Caper? So, I mean, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a very comfortable chair. It supports, you know, I, I don't know all the terminology here. I mean, I'm just some dude that works in front of a computer and, and sits his butt in a chair. I mean, I don't know all the terminology, but the way that it feels, you know, below my butt, between my butt and my knees, it feels good. The back feels good. I know what that's called. That's called lumbar. Now, it's not adjustable on this, so don't, don't think you're going to get fancy and, you know, and have adjustable lumbar because this one doesn't. Now, you can get Herman Millers that have that. But this just fits me perfectly. I'm sitting here, I'm comfortable, but I am erect. So I can uh, type and, you know, hopefully have the, the best uh, posture possible. So, I mean, if you've got a larger area, you may want to consider the arms. I ordered this specifically without arms. And as I demonstrated earlier, I ordered it without arms because while it's not in use, it's a very small and good looking chair that gently, uh, not, I shouldn't say gently, but just perfectly tucks underneath my small desk. Rather small desk. You know, I'm not, I'm not on Wall Street or anything like that, man. I'm not trying to be, ooh, dude, so you got a nice chair, buddy. You must have gotten promoted. You know, I'm not trying to compete with the Wall Street crowd. I'm not trying to outdo anyone. You know, they got a, a fancier and more expensive Herman Miller than I do. I'm not, not trying to compete. I'm just trying to be, have good posture. I'm trying to be more productive and I want something that looks good and is built to last. And I think I found that with the Herman Miller caper that my butt's sitting in right now. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please comment below. I hope, I hope you felt that this was an honest Herman Miller Caper review. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I just want to, I want to, number one, I want to congratulate Herman Miller for bringing such a great product to the table. Because if I ever have the need for additional office chairs, you know which brand I'm going to be going for, and that's Herman Miller, unless they butcher their products like a lot of other brands have. But hopefully Herman Miller won't, because I mean, you can feel and see, and even when this thing came out of the box new, even smell the quality and it's a it's just a very good looking chair and uh but to look at it one thing i do want to say when you look at this and you see this kind of hard plasticky material type back you may be like man that's gonna that's gonna be uncomfortable i find it to be super comfortable the same with the seat and again you can get this in the flexible seat the meshy type seat i think they call it flexnet this is the hard molded so this back part with my configuration is the same material as the seat part. And that's how I want it. But it's just a very cosmetically pleasing chair. Um, it has a, a unique look. And that, that's one of the things about this particular Herman Miller is that it doesn't have, when you look at it, you might not say, oh, that's a Herman Miller because you're typically used to seeing Aeron or Mira or Embody or something like that. So this is a chair, I will call it the flies under the radar Herman Miller chair. I like it and I like the color I got, but this thing, you can pick a ton. You can choose among a variety of different colors. And even the base, I got the black base because I thought this, this bluish color with the black looks sick. It looks sick, bro. So, uh, I don't know, y'all tell me what you think. Got questions, ask them. 
you know, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty fat dude, but not too fat, so I sit in the seat fine. Um, I think I weigh about, how much do I weigh? I don't know, but I'm six feet, two inches tall, or six feet, two inches short, however you want to look at it. But it, and that's the other thing, the, the spinning around, you can spin this chair. It's very quiet, it's very smooth. There's no wobbles. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you sat in, a, in an inferior office chair and you, you turn, you feel a wobble, and then you hear pops and clicks, and this is just a very well done chair. Great job, Herman Miller, and uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all of my other videos too. And if you're looking for Herman Miller chair like I use, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find the various offerings. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and Y'all have a good day.